Hello, this is the Trades at U.S. Stocks and the Futures Market Preview for Tuesday, the 21st of July, 2020. Hope you're having a good trading week. We had a big day on Monday, actually. A good Forex winner, a little bit of futures, and then stock stuff was phenomenal. Hard to complain, uh, considering, you know, it really wasn't what we were looking for on the day, but we still got it going and made it happen, so it's all exciting. Here's a look at the ES Front Month Futures Contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market. In futures form, we have a 13 sell signal on the ES. We are right up against the risk line of that sell signal. This is a make or break point. If we break above this, sky's the limit. We'll just pretend like the entire world is in great shape. There's no issues, and we'll just let's just run to infinity. Who really cares? But if you sell out right here, then that 13 sell signal is still in place. So let's keep a look at that. Keep an eye on it. And keep let's just see how it goes. Uh, crude oil up three cents to 40.84. Crude's been pretty flat. Lately, gold up $3.70 near all-time highs. The S&P cash gained 27.11. Now, again, this is above the risk line on the cash index, but the futures is what we care about. <sighs> NASDAQ 100 up 306.86. Like 306. It's now like the Dow, right? It's like 300 points. It doesn't even matter anymore. New all-time high on the NASDAQ. Blowing off the 13 sell signal that was a couple weeks ago that it already kind of broke anyways. Not at all-time highs because it was higher that one day, but... This is just crazy. And then if you look, we'll talk about which stocks made that happen, by the way, because, it's, again, it was four stocks. It's the same four stocks. Nothing matters. Socks up $41.48. Uh, and 13 sell signals still in place there. We're under the risk line. The biotech's up 54.07. All time high there. Sure, why not? The Russell 2000. Small, sorry, small cap sector. Had a 13 sell signal two days ago, and it's down five. So the entire market's up, but this is down five. By the way, when I say the entire market's up, wait for it. We're not done yet. The VIX. Down $1.22, back to $24.46. The trend at $1.16. Puts the 10-day moving average at 1.07. NASDAQ volume 4.3, 4.2 billion shares. It's a little light, not the best we've seen lately, but it's decent. Here's the fun part. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ uh, plus uh, 166. So basically 166 more stocks up than down on the New York. Negative. 387, more stocks down than up. So when we talk about everything being up, we've got the S&P up 27, we've got the NASDAQ up 306, stocks up 41, biotech's down up 54, but at the end of the day, more stocks in the stock market were down today, net-net, right? Add up that plus 153 on the NASDAQ and that minus 396 on the New York, more stocks down than up. So what drove the NASDAQ up 300 points? That's a huge day. Oh, let's look at Google. Up 46.99. Why not? Apple up at $8.12. Still not at all-time highs, but very close. Big up day. Netflix up $9.42. We're covering off of the miss in earnings. Evidently, misses in earnings don't matter that much. Amazon. Are you kidding me? Amazon up $234.87. Not at all-time highs. Still near, still under the 13 cell signal on the risk line. But, man, that is a big up day near the highs on Amazon. And, of course, that carries a big piece of the market. And Tesla, which I saw up a couple points earlier in the day, up $142. It's not even worth the conversation. None of this matters. None of this is real. Um, you know, Facebook up $3.39. That one's still under the 13 cell signal. And the risk line very clearly. Goldman Sachs up $0.30, cents, so nothing there. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF, up $0.41. Cents, the Dow up I mean, like, literally, remember, the Dow is also, the NASDAQ's a 10,000 point index, so it's up, you know, whatever, 306 points today. The Dow's a 26,000 point index, it's up eight points for the day. The entire world is five stocks. It's just painful, and remarkable, is what it is. And then what does the day really look like? Here's the ES. We basically opened flat, went lower, came back up, dead flat through lunch, and then after lunch, we just started to rally, and in the last 30 minutes, Pushed even higher. If you look at the NASDAQ side, look at that. What is that chart? Gap up 50 points, come back, fill the gap. That took about five seconds. We had a 13 sell signal buy on the first, by the way, on the first candle. Filled the gap on that and then curled up. And then from there, I mean, what is that? This is, this is like a like a step stair. You just walk it up. Like, and there's a 13 sell signal right at the close, by the way. There's two, though. There's three. Th actually, I've never seen this. Three 13 sell signals in the five-minute chart. One, the opening candle. We sold off from there. Then right about going into lunch, you get another one. We're a little bit flat for like an hour. No big deal. Break the risk line, so that one's a bust. And then another one here at the close. I don't remember the last time I saw three 13 sell signals on any stock, any futures index, any anything on a five-minute chart. That is literally remarkable. 
and I don't want to comment on it because it's just it's literally nuts. NAS, uh, in terms of economic data on Tuesday, none. There's nothing. We're just going to run up again. Whatever we're going to do. Currently, the ES is showing up six. The Nasdaq up sixty. Uh, there's another nine hours till the open. We'll see you then. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken the trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Good luck.